Oh my god, I'm barely holding on here. Oh, I'm gonna lose! I'm gonna lose! This is unbelievable! I lost! What the hell? I had it off the screen! God damn it! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the PSP puzzle classic known as Lumines, or Lumines, or Luminies, or Lumines. I don't quite know how to say that. Luminous Puzzle Fusion. Um, this is an action puzzle game, kind of in the style of Tetris. I say action puzzle game because it's not like a simple, you know, like a turn-based puzzle or like a jigsaw or something like that. It's more of an action-y puzzle game. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here today and try a couple of the, uh, we'll try the one-player mode, we'll try versus the computer, and then we'll try the puzzle mode. Um, I've already created my profile up there. As you can see, I am J-Dog, and I have a sweet little bear avatar. Pay attention to him. He will be dancing as I play this game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here to the, uh, I don't know, challenge mode, I suppose. I, don't, I still don't 100% know what all these different modes do, but here's how it works. So you basically uh, place little blocks, and when you make arrangements of four that are all interconnected, then when this line passes by, it will sort of uh, erase them. And so what you need to try and do is set up combos so that the line gets more and more um, blocks uh, before it gets to the all the way to the right so what so basically what you have to try and do is pay attention to like where the line is and ideally what you want to do is place stuff right after the line has passed so you have the most amount of time to like add more lines and that's basically all there is to it so it's very simple in concept um, and it is you know very much like uh, very much like uh, Tetris. It is, oops, uh, it is like the PlayStation 2's or the PSP's sort of version um, of Tetris. And it's just a lot of this. Um, I, so I did try this game out before uh, I sat down and recorded here for you guys. And I tried to figure some of the, some of the aspects of the game out. So I kind of have some sense of like um, how it worked and so on. And what I have figured out is that my brain does not think in Luminies. So I can do okay at this game, but eventually like enough of these blocks build up and I don't know what to do with them that I just sort of die by default. Um, and uh, the, you know, I mean, that's it's all I can do. I, I can't do any better than that. Dying by default. So we're gonna go ahead and slam all those down. Seems pretty good. Wait for the line to pass. And then, okay, there was nothing else to do there. So that was a combo of two. So I will say that the like Luminies or whatever, they're not as satisfying as getting like Tetrises. Like getting a Tetris is like super satisfying, but these I feel like you're just trying to like beat the line. It's, yeah, it's fine. But like, you know, it's no, it's no Tetris. And I think, you know, for any game like this, we have to compare it to Tetris. I mean, we could certainly draw analogies between other games like you know, Dr. Mario, or Columns, or, oh, that was a good, that was a sweet one, maybe that counts as a Tetris. Um, Dr. Mario, Columns, you know, there have been many, like, good puzzle games, um, over the years, and that's fine, but I will say that, like, I don't think any puzzle game is as iconic as Tetris. It's just simply not the case. I mean, like, like, here's a challenge for you. Um, find somebody that you know who doesn't know what Tetris is. And I will even allow you to ask like grandparents and uncles and, and people that you wouldn't normally consider gamers who are sort of plugged in, who like know classic games. I bet you that most people uh, know what Tetris is because Tetris is just one of those iconic franchises that like, it, it's sort of like Super Mario Brothers. It's like even people who aren't gamers know about Super Mario, you know? He's, like, transcended his, uh, his medium. And I think Tetris is very similar in that, you know, there are people who I know who don't really like video games who love Tetris. It's, it's one of those things that even non-gamers enjoy. Uh, maybe you could even consider it the first casual game, although, like, I don't know how you define... Depends how you define casual game, I suppose. But, like, Tetris was definitely... 
I mean, when they when Nintendo first produced uh, the Game Boy, they didn't package it with a Mario title. The game that was packaged with the original Game Boy was Tetris because uh, they they wanted the Game Boy to have more. Oh, that was a terrible move. They wanted the Game Boy to have more appeal than to, you know, uh, just sort of gamers. They wanted to reach, like, businessmen and, like, secretaries. And, like, people who you would normally not think of as gamers. They wanted to sort of pull into the gaming community. So, um, yeah, and I think... So I think Tetris, in a very real way, sort of has, like, a universal appeal that is rare in terms of uh, video games. Um, and I, like, I don't know, like maybe you disagree. Maybe you're listening, you're thinking like, no, I can think of a few people who don't like Tetris and yeah, it was like a really good game, but I don't know if I consider it like a kind of like a universal game. Um, so maybe you disagree. Um, that's fine if you do, but, uh, but I would be curious to know if you are, if you guys out there are able to find people who don't know what Tetris is, because I would contend that it is a, it is a tough sell. It is, is hard to find people who don't know what Tetris is. That's, that's my own impression from the people who I know. I think virtu- I don't think I could find anyone who doesn't know about Tetris. I think I think that's a lock. It's uh, it's like a safe, nice safe bet for me to make. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so obviously though we can draw comparisons with like Sega's games like Columns. You know, like Sega tried to make a version of Tetris and Columns was like a good game. It's just it, it was no Tetris, you know. And I don't know if that's because Tetris is something uh, more than Columns, or if Tetris was just the first thing, you know, like, like forever, I think Tetris not only, we're talking a lot about Tetris in uh, Luminine's video, but I mean, like, we have to draw the comparison. There's no way we can't talk about Tetris. But I think Tetris is almost in a very real way like checkers. Like, people are going to be playing it a thousand years from now. I think it just, it has so much appeal to just be around forever. Because it's so simple, you know? And checkers is kind of like that, too. And chess and stuff like that. So I think Tetris is a long life, life ahead of it. Um, but, like, you know, Columns. If Columns had come out before Tetris, maybe we would all just be talking about Columns right now today. You know, maybe columns would be the thing that everyone is sort of uh, discussing all the time and everyone compares every new puzzle game to columns. Maybe. It's quite possible. There may, it may be that Tetris wasn't as unique as we sometimes portray it to be. It's just it was simply the first uh, game to be what it was, you know. And, like, there wasn't really a game kind of like Tetris at the time. Uh, but then pretty much, you know, anything could have been Tetris if it had been there. Oh, here's a big one. Oh, a seven. Bam. That's a Tetris. In terms of, that's like getting four in a row in Tetris. Right there. You guys were witnesses. You saw. Uh, man, we don't even have any, any place to put these green uh, objects anymore because we like wiped them all out of existence. We committed green cube genocide on them. Just eliminated them from existence. Um, let's go with this. That's a pretty good combo. Do that too. I feel like like there's some incentive to get bigger combos. Oops. But there's not like a ton of incentive because like as long as as long as I'm constantly clearing blocks, that's all I care about. Do that too. Boom. Do that too. Oh man, we we're dominating. I hope you're impressed with my Luminese abilities. I probably, it's probably, I don't know how, like, how impressive this is to watch, actually. Maybe it's not impressive at all. Maybe it's, like, semi-boring. It's possible. It's possible. I feel like not every game is, is the most interesting to, uh, to play. Which is why I try to constantly chatter. Because I feel like, at least, even if you're looking at the game, you're being like, hey, it's like a cheap knockoff of Column, not super into it. Um, at least maybe my incessant babbling will entertain you in some small way. That is my... I always hope... I always I always hope my incessant chatter is mildly amusing to you guys. Who knows if it is. Um, I feel like I'm screwing myself over hardcore here. What happened? We were doing so well. We were doing so well. Now now it's just like... Now here's here's my shame, man. Like, I, I'm flopping around like a fish out of water now. I don't know. I don't know what happened. The era of Jay being good at Luminaires just ended. My brain was like, and that's enough. And now you're terrible at this game. Okay. I wanted to throw these guys down there, but it was too late. But I'll still do it out of spite. Because why not? 
if you can't do something because of spite, well, then I don't know. Spite, spite's the best reason to do anything. So there you go. Um, I, I feel like I'm just panicking now. My, I, I, I'm having trouble coming up with things to say because my attention now is so focused on the fact that I'm utterly failing here. So between the classic puzzle games like Dr. Mario, Column, Tetris, what was your favorite? Would, you know, like I, I'm singing Tetris's praises like crazy here. Um, I really enjoyed Tetris when I was a kid and I was not a fan of Dr. Mario, but I feel like Dr. Mario grew on me over the years. Like uh, these days I actually quite enjoy Dr. Mario and I think I like it more than Tetris. Although like, I, I, like, I like both games, like truth be told. Um, but like, I'm just thinking like, you know, what would I prefer? I, th I think, and this is mainly because I didn't grow up with it, but I think Columns is my least favorite of the three. Um, and again, it's mostly just sort of because I just didn't really grow up with Columns. I never really played it. Uh, so maybe if I sat down and like, you know, got to know Columns a little bit, it would be more interesting for me. Oh, that's going to clear a whole bunch of stuff. Wow. Whoa, I, oh, I got so dumbfounded. I didn't even pay attention to uh, what was going on with the rest of my Luminese my uh, little blocks there so okay we somehow recovered don't ask me how that happened but i am uh i am i'm am not gonna ask questions oh sh damn it that i i didn't mean to do that uh but okay it kind of worked out interesting all right we're we're trying uh, the blocks are interestingly changing into all different forms here um so anyway columns is my least favorite so I think Dr. Mario these days is my favorite. I was also kind of thinking like, um, so, you know, kind of going back to Tetris for a second, but has any game managed to usurp Tetris? Like there've been attempts over the years with game, like games like Columns, games like Dr. Mario, but other games like Clax, or you could even make the argument that like Candy Crush is kind of, you know, uh, a descendant of Tetris. Cause it is kind of similar. It's like, line up a bunch of stuff and then they disappear or like hexen and hex hexic or whatever like all these all these like puzzly games they're kind of tetrisy in their design so i don't know like do you think one of those like could you come up with a game that you think uh is sort of like a tetris competitor that has usurped tetris's spot you know is there a better tetris out there essentially i don't know um i don't think any of the modern puzzle games really spoke to me like, I never got into that whole Candy Crush fad. I actually, you know, I've talked about this in, in uh, other videos, like, a long time ago. But I actually found Candy Crush to be a very sort of dumb idea for a game. Like, I just, I don't like mobile games very much. And I feel like pay-to-win mobile games are the absolute worst. And, like, Candy Crush is not a game that's designed to be beatable. It's designed to be a slot machine to separate you from your money. Like, I just... I don't like the design philosophies behind Candy Crush. The actual concept for the game is fine. Like, if they made... If if it was supposed to be a game you could win, that's fine. But it's supposed to be a game that's endless to separate you from your money. So, that's where I draw the line and I say, that's not a game anymore. Now that's straight-up manipulation and I have no interest in playing that. So, you know, the games that I grew up with as a kid... Yeah, you know, you'd get addicted and, like, not do your homework and stuff. But the game developers didn't throw in cheap, cheap slot machine type elements intentionally to keep you playing 50 hours a day, you know? Like, I don't know where the mentality from game developers came from that, like, gamers have to be playing my game all the time. Like, you look at the grinds in some of these, like, MMOs and stuff, and it's, like, it's just abusive. Like, who wants to play a game like that? Like, you're, you're, you're taking the worst part of gaming... And you're, like, institutionalizing it in your game. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, not a fan of Candy Crush. Just mostly because I disagree with the design philosophies behind it. I don't think it was designed to be fun. I think it was designed to be addictive. And that's not the kind of game that I'm interested in. I want to have fun first. You know, if it's good, I'll get addicted. Don't worry. Trust me. I'll get addicted to things. You don't have to force me into it. But just for the love of God, make a good game and just worry about that. And let the addiction come naturally. Natural addiction, guys. It's, it's the sweetest high. Man, we, we're... I keep thinking we're gonna die soon, and then we, like, somehow pull it back from the brink. I think we should just throw the game at some point here, because this could just go on for a long time. And I want to see some of the other uh, game modes. Okay, so this is what you do in Tetris when you're done. You're just like, and I'm done. You just stack blocks till the game's over. Okay, so... Rank first. I didn't know we were competing with anyone, but there I am, J-Dog. Uh, I had already tried this game out, so that's why I have two high scores here. 
Hopefully you enjoyed my little dancing bear on the left side of the screen there. I forgot to mention him while we were playing, but you can always go back and check him out if you want to see him doing his little dance. Okay, so we have two other modes to check out. Let's hop into the CPU mode and try battling a computer. So we're battling an ancient samurai, I guess. And the way this works is every time you like set up a combo, um, if you set up multiple combos, you get multiple points and it will like push the screen to the left or right, uh, sort of harming your opponent. And what you want to do uh, is, oh geez, I think I screwed this up. What you want to do is have, uh, line up as many sort of combos as you can and have them all come down like right in a row to like really sort of get your opponent. Like I just got three right there. So you'll see that will uh, sort of shoot the screen over quite far on his side to, uh, to sort of screw him over. And, oh God, how am I doing this? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing really poorly at the moment. So I don't know if we're gonna win this one. But I think I, hold on, I can get a good combo here by doing this. Um, and I'll just do this, I guess. There we go. And we'll do that. And so part of the thing is like, as you start to lose, you have like less and less space to do stuff. And then it gets easier for your opponent to do stuff. And then you just, you then you really get screwed. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh man, the puzzle pieces are coming too fast. I like, my, my, my simple brain can't keep up with this. <laughs> I think the computer's kicking my butt. He's kicking my butt and he doesn't even know it. Or maybe he knows it. Yeah, I think he knows it. You son of a... Yeah, I'm screwed. I, I just lost. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going to try this again. Our samurai uh, honor demands it. We must fight the evil computer again. Okay. Let's try and do this strategically. Oh, that's going to be an awesome combo. Boom. There we go. The trick is to go fast, I think. Um, so go like this, this, like this, this, yes, yes! <laughs> uh, I don't know where to put that piece, or this piece. Okay, we'll take that. Take this and this. Oh my god. I can't think fast enough. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm not really commenting all that much. It's kind of hard to uh, to play and think at the same time. Uh oh, I'm really screwed. I can't make a single combo. I am really in a lot of trouble. Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, oh, I'm at, how, how do I not have enough space to do anything? This is unbelievable. Um, okay, we got we got a two. Is that good enough to kill him? Can he just die already? How How is he having an easier time than me? Look at my screen compared to his. This is unbelievable. Okay, come on. This has got to be like, uh, you know, the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Oh my god, I'm barely holding on here. Oh, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. This is unbelievable. I lost. What the hell? I had it off the screen. God damn it. Oh god. Okay, but you get the idea. You know what? We gotta try this one more time. I can't let him have the last laugh. Are you crazy? We started off so strong, it was unbelievable. Oh my god. Um Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. So if you can start off with like a strong combo like that, then you can kind of be okay. See, I think my problem is that I'm only, like, I'm not thinking things through. I'm just, like, thinking one combo at a time. And, okay, this is going to be a big one, though. This is going to be huge. So, yeah, like, my problem is I'm thinking, like, one combo at a time. And, like, after I've placed my combo, like, I'm just on to something else. I'm, not, like, not even focused on the damage I'm doing. So I can get combos, but I kind of screw myself in the process. So I, I'm pretty sure that's why he does better than me. Because I can't think fast enough. 
You know, like when you play a new puzzle game, like you're just not used to seeing the combos. And so your brain just like, does not think in the terms it needs to be thinking. I maintain that's it. I maintain it's not because I'm not good. It's because, uh, because of reasons. Because of complicated, rational reasons. I can't believe I'm losing again. I can't believe this is happening. We had such a strong start and it's happening again. It's happening again! No! Oh, combo! Oh, failed it! Oh, we gotta do this one more time. I'm not gonna let the computer beat us, guys. We're totally gonna hack our way. We hacked our way into this mess. We're gonna hack our way out. Okay. Weird samurai dude. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This. This. And then we're going, I don't know, like this, like this, like this, like this. Oh my God. We're, we're, I think we're screwing ourselves over yet again. My God, why can't I not think in these terms? I, I wonder if you guys are like looking at this and you're like coming up with moves and stuff. Or if like, it's just like a big old mess. To you. Oh, I messed that one up so bad. Damn it. You're just like looking at it, it's just like a big old mess of, of blocks. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I've lost the will. I don't have the will of a samurai. If you do beat him, the next uh, villain is a stack of records. So there you go. We're going to go into the puzzle mode. I, I can't believe I couldn't beat that guy. It's so annoying. Um, truth be told, I actually already played this game and I made a whole video and I forgot to hit record. So the reason that I seem to know what I'm doing is because I played this already. And I did beat him the last time I played, so I'm sad I couldn't show you guys how to defeat him. Oh, pfft. Had that lined up just incorrectly. But, uh... May maybe we'll give him one more shot. I can't let an evil samurai have the last laugh on my own channel. That's just not something I could live with. Oh my god. What's wrong with my eyeballs? I'm, like, not lining stuff up correctly. Um, let's do that... That. That's a thing. Stop. What, what, you hear that voice? Stop. Stop. Keep saying stop. Huh. So, wait. I'm on small cross. What am I supposed to do? Build a cross? Wait. What? What's happening? Hold on. There, there's like a cross that's being illuminated. Failed! Failed! Okay, hold on. What are you supposed to do in the puzzle mode? Create a small cross within the time limit. Adjacent blocks must be different colors. Uh, what? So, like, just do this? Like this? I don't 100% understand. Because how am I just not going to lose? Stop. I, I, I don't... What? <laughs> this is so confusing. How do you make a cross? All right, well, smarter minds than me can figure this one out. I, I don't know, that, one, that, one's, that one's utterly perplexing. All right, you know what? We, we've, you know, our, our heart is not in figuring out this puzzle mode because where it really is, is in our dishonor from having fled the combat with the samurai. You know what, we're going back in. We're going back in one more time as we wrap up our thoughts on Luminis or Lumines or whatever the heck it's called. Nobody beats me. There is no honor in fleeing from combat, and I refuse to do it. Do this, and this, and this. Setting up the ultimate combo for this jerk. Because he is a jerk. I think we can all, ag we can all agree this guy's a total a-hole. <laughs> we don't know him. Oh, he screwed up my combo. Oh, but joke's on you, pal. The combo still went through. So do that and that. Ooh, that is, that's a good, nice, a nice meaty combo. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. Just focusing on the combos. Just trying not to mess it up. Uh, that didn't do anything, but that will. And this will. And this will. And this will. Here's the ultimate combo right in your face, buddy. Right in your freaking. Samurai face there. That's that's the mega combo man. That's like, you know dreams are made of that combo You shouldn't be able to recover from a combo that devastating 
Um, okay, so we got that. The problem is, though, the game thinks I'm good now because it's increasing the speed of my blocks. And I forgot to tell it that I'm not actually good. Ah, uh, shoot. But that actually works. And that works. And... I don't know, that works. How is he still alive? I, I would just like to know. I would just like to know how this jerk's still alive. Oh, we are starting to steal his pieces, though. Which is good for me. Um, sure, do that. And that. And I, I don't even know what's going on. That. Come on, man! Can't you just die already? How have I not comboed you back to the Stone Age? This is like unbelievable. Okay, we finally won. I was gonna say, am I gonna lose again? We did it! We're heroes, 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 heroes. My bear is like dancing and his face is all beaten up. Yeah! That's how you beat a samurai, guys. Well, anyway, Lumines here is one of the. Oh, yeah, and here's our next opponent a stack of uh, records. Lumines here is one of the games in the book of Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And uh, so, in terms of wrapping this game up, I will say that, like. It is, uh, it is like a good puzzle game. Like if you, if you are into games like Dr. Mario or Columns or Tetris, I feel like this would be a game that would interest and intrigue you. And so, yeah, if you're looking for that kind of game, this is uh, possibly a game that you uh, might want to check out. I will say it's not for everyone because, uh, you know, not everyone's going to be interested in these uh, puzzle style games. But uh, that said... Um, yeah, I think this is a completely reasonable, fun game. I mean, I had just as much fun with this game as I did with, like, uh, Columns, and I know Columns was considered a, uh, very good game. So, yeah, I feel like, uh, why not Lumines? Why not? <laughs> But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of Lumines here? Have you tried this game before? Is it a game that you yourself had? Let me know in the comments down below, especially if you have some, like, fond memories of this game or, like, some hot tips you could share with us. Um, I'm always looking for hot tips for games like this because, as you can see, I lack both the skill and ability to play these games intuitively. What? I just... I won! I beat the automobile industry? What the heck? I, I thought I was definitely going to lose that. Well, who's the next opponent? Oh, uh, AI created in the image of man. Interesting. It's interesting how the blocks themselves change depending on the level. But the aesthetics of the blocks are kind of screwing me up a little bit. Uh, oh, God. I feel like we're totally going to lose to this AI. This AI was designed to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And it's all out of gum. Um, but, yes. So, uh, yeah. I think this is a fun game. Uh, worth it to play. But, yeah. What do you guys think? Um, beyond that, I hope I have entertained you guys. I hope you guys have found this video both uh, educational and entertaining, more the latter than the former. If you have, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because I will be back soon with a new game in my ongoing quest to play through the book, A Thousand and One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So uh, don't forget to tune back in soon, and uh, until next time, uh, may all your block dropping be favorable. And uh, good luck uh, defeating those samurais, because let me tell you, they're a bitch. <laughs> and until next time, guys. Oh, I'm just getting dominated here. You can, like, watch me fail as I sign off here. Yeah, I guess that's quitting time. Until next time, guys, you all take care of yourselves. And peace.